So you're thinking about moving to Israel. Maybe you already live in Israel. Perhaps you are not aware that Israel is a very expensive place to live. And so I want to make a video today about the cost of living in Israel for all of you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Claude Massey. I'm a life coach in Tel Aviv, Israel. Let's get into the video of today, which is going to be about the cost of living in Israel. So you don't have to be an economics major to understand this video. I'm going to break down several aspects of living in Israel, the cost of living in Israel. A few things that we're not going to talk about today is rent. Most of you probably already know that Tel Aviv is one of the most expensive cities in the world to live in. The cost cost of rent in Tel Aviv is simply massive. You can do research online if you'd like to learn about the rent prices in Tel Aviv and you'll probably be astonished. We're not even going to talk about the cost of taxes, meaning how much taxes are applied or deducted from your wages. On average, it's about 10% more than in the US, which is where I'm originally from. Taxes in Israel are higher. All of that aside, let's talk about the first topic that I want to bring up. To stay alive, to feed yourself in Israel. There's a couple of examples I wanted to show you inside of this video. For example, the cost of soda beverages. In this case, Coca-Cola. As you guys can see, I went online and basically the cost of a six pack of Coca-Cola no, I don't drink a lot of soda, but I just wanted to use Coca-Cola as an example because you guys are familiar with the brand. The cost of a six pack of Coca-Cola is about the cost of a 12 pack in the US. Let's say you're going to the store, for example, and you want to buy just one can of soda. That will probably cost you around a dollar in the US. In Israel, the same exact can of Coke will cost you the equivalent of three US dollars. And what about the bread, the lechem? is how you say it in Hebrew, lechem. The cost of bread is one and a half times as expensive. So if it's, let's say, a dollar twenty-five for a loaf of bread in the States, you're looking at closer to two, three dollars, maybe two fifty, that sounds reasonable, for a loaf of bread in Israel. So it's about twice as much. Now me, I know it's not healthy, but I love McDonald's. And the cost of McDonald's in Israel is about three times as much as it cost in the US. So if you were to go to a McDonald's in the United States somewhere, you're probably gonna pay around $5 for a meal. In Israel, you're going to pay closer to $15 for that same exact meal. So when I take my daughter to go get McDonald's, it's a pain in my ass. But I just thought I would give you a couple of examples there. And these examples for food extend across all different items whether you're talking about milk, eggs, pasta, and all of your day-to-day -day items. Yes, the cost is about two to three times as much as you would pay in the US for the same items in Israel. The second item I'll talk about today is the cost of clothing. You're going to need to keep clothes on your back. This out of what I've seen is probably the most comparable to the United States. It's about twice as much, maybe a bit less for all of the same items, whether you're talking about a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, a pair of shoes, or a pair of pants. Be prepared to pay twice as much, and you're not talking about the same brands. The main brands that exist in the US are not the same main brands that exist here in Israel. There are a completely different chain of stores that you'll see in the mall, You'll be shopping at new different places, but you'll be planning on paying twice as much, if not a little bit less than twice as much for all of the clothing for you, your family. So whenever you're going clothing shopping, you know what to expect. Having a car is a luxury. The cost of a car itself. If you look at the screen right now, you're seeing an example of two regular automobiles, not luxury cars but two regular automobiles. And you'll notice that the cost of buying a car is about three to four times as expensive in Israel than it is in the United States. Incredible, right? That being said, the cost of gas is about two to three times as much as it cost per gallon. In the US, it's sold per gallon. In Israel, it's sold per liter. And so it's two to three times as expensive to fill the car that cost four times as much as it would cost in the US. 
The cost of insurance is about three times as much as it costs in the U.S. And so owning a car is a very expensive thing to do in Israel. Keep that in mind that when you arrive to Israel, if you're new to the country, if you're living on a budget, the public transportation is not bad. It is a very efficient running system and you can get most places in the country using public transportation. But if you need a car, you may consider to save up a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Please, if you have any comments, leave those down below and have a great day. Great news, I've just finished creating the Employment Israel Workshop tutorial series. It's seven different videos. By the way, I haven't shaved. I've just been working, working, working like crazy to get this out to you guys as soon as possible with the best content possible. So there's seven video tutorials, all of which are going to help you find a job in Israel that doesn't require Hebrew whatsoever. It's 100% free. Sign up below and get it today.